alive. <laughs> July. What is this? The twentieth. The twentieth. Yep. Two thousand and eight at eleven p.m. on channel eleven. Sunday night. Yeah, man. And what's our base statement tonight? Be normal. Yeah, be normal. Tall order. You want to hear it? Hey. Yeah, you can go ahead. Sure. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> 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 it looks like a Stephen King novel. And little dude sitting, yeah. See us? Here, come over here. There you go. <laughs> yeah. See, Me watching daddy. Yeah, watching us. Watch daddy. Yeah, that's us. <laughs> There's peace, yeah. You wanna see peace? Outside. There's peace. Hi boys. Outside, yeah, she's outside. <laughs> Drive, driving down the road. <laughs> yep. This is the most comfortable car I've ever been in. Can you see how steady it is? It's just got well, like total surround sound and, and stuff. Yeah, and everything around me is bouncing around like crazy, and I'm just calm and steady and serene here. See daddy! In my little pilot seat. Oh, you want to see daddy now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he wants to see daddy. Bye, Boise. See you later. <laughs> there's us again. Hey, there's you, dude. The dudes. Yeah! yeah. Are they even actually in the same space? Oh wait, he runs <laughs> back and forth, doesn't he? <laughs> hmm? Down. You wanna see that one down there? Yeah. Like that? Yeah. Okay. Our director tonight will be little dude. Yeah, mommy. And maybe for Yeah, mommy. mommy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, dear. You want to see mom? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Me? Well, yeah, you and him. <laughs> There's mommy. Hi. There's daddy. There's daddy. There's, 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 there's little dude. Yeah. Moments of awareness in the director's chair. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ready? You ready? Yeah. Ha ha. Oh, hey, phone call. <laughs> okay, hold on. Hey, let me get the phone. I need to do it. What? Hello? Hello? Did that work? Are you there? Oh, wait. Hold on. How about now? Hello? Hello. Hey, Hello. there you are. <laughs> Hi, I, I called the TV to go. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um, I'm the yeah, girl that works it. Do it, Daddy. Oh, cool! Yay, we went there. Um, Good. Like, what yeah, was it? During, it. During, it was during the next day. The next day, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, really? me do it, yep. Daddy. Oh, what do you what do you want to do? The headphones? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, oh, well, he's um, yeah. I'm not working there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> yeah. It's a good thing. Yeah. 
<laughs> so how have you guys been enjoying yourselves? Yes, yes, yes! Oh! <laughs> yes. I guess we're doing very well. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. yes. yes, yes. <laughs> wow, a phone call! Uh, phone call, yeah. <laughs> phone call. How about you? I, I've been good. I've been going down the Boise River and that was fun. Hi! Because that was the first time I was Hi! Really that was really fun. That can you turn you guys down a little bit and her up a little bit? Because I'm having a hard time. You said you went down the Boise River and that was good. Yeah. And. That name's Little Dude. <laughs> My name's Little Dude. Yeah. <laughs> and then what was after that? Oh, I, I just said that was really fun. Oh, yeah. I'm bad. I haven't gotten a where'd, chance to do that yet. Yeah, where'd you get in? Um, Barber Park, I think. Bonner Park? Or Barra Park, something like that. Um, hmm. At the beginning, I think. I'm not at sure. At the beginning yeah. of the Boise River? Well, yeah, <laughs> we're right after the dam and stuff. Oh, okay. So. Yeah. yeah. I see. Well, that'd be a good little ride. Yeah, it was fun. Do they have any, like, rapid type stuff in there? Whitewater stuff? Oh, a little bit. Like, the first drop, like, the three feet drop got you soaking wet and... Yeah. Fun, but <laughs> yeah. Well, you don't want it to be too wild. It's not something you do a lot, you know. No. So yeah, cool. Yeah. But you're not working at KFC anymore. No. Oh. I, I'm considering uh, working at McDonald's just because they don't break the law when it comes to working people too much. But yeah. Oh, what are you saying? Yeah, because um. <laughs> Like, they're not supposed to work me more than nine hours in a day because uh -huh. I'm under 18. Uh -huh. or, or they're not supposed to work me more than eight and they work me nine. And they thought they could get around it by just giving me an hour break in the oh. middle of the night. Yeah. Well, apparently that didn't work too well. No. <laughs> <laughs> they're but taking I, off on me over there. I don't know what's going on. Well, yeah, I've worked at a place or two like that in my time. Wow. <laughs> and they treated me bad, and it, it wasn't good, but... Yeah, so you're considering McDonald's? Yeah, but I, I'm not sure. I might consider just enjoying my summer. Not yeah, you know, food. that's always a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, my brother and my sister both worked at McDonald's, and they, they enjoyed it, and it was fun, but... If you can take the summer off, boy, I recommend it. <laughs> that's just me personally, though. You know. Yeah. Or if you can get a job where you're doing something that's, like, fun and outside and, like, you know, where you can get a tan. <laughs> yeah. So, are you guys on here, like, every Sunday? Every Sunday night from 11 to 12. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's cool. <laughs> Well, I have to go to bed, but I just wanted to check in on you guys. All right. Well, thanks. Well, it's good right. to hear from you. Good to hear from you. Call us again. Yeah, talk to you later. All right. <laughs> if you go to work at, at McDonald's, let us know, or, you know, maybe next year. All right. Keep in touch. Okay, bye. Bye. Do I need to go in there and hang that up? No. No. Okay. All right. Automatic as soon as they hang as soon as you hang up. Yeah, it won't answer automatically. <laughs> so is that going to be turned up? Yeah, probably not. But he'll get to practice. I, I well, thank you for calling. It was good to hear from you. Actually, we were thinking about you. We wondered if the girl who helped us at the window was you, but she didn't say anything, so we figured maybe not. Except she said she liked his hair. <laughs> his name's Little Dude. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Apparently, he's practicing to be a stage and screen star. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Let it be known that if that's his choice, that's his choice. He will be a big, huge star. <laughs> or even a little tiny one, but it's his choice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're going to do a show? Yeah. Well, all right. Yeah. Well, all right. why don't we have an interview, question and answer session? I have my microphone. This is my microphone. <laughs> mm -hmm. You talk to me. You talk to me. You're interviewing Ask them? Ask me a question. Yeah. 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 Hi. Hi. My name is Little Dude. 
Your name is Little Dude? Yeah. It's very nice to meet you, Little Dude. How are you doing today, Little Dude? Can he hear you? Uh, here, I can make it so he can a little bit. It's very nice to meet you, Little Dude. Daddy! Hi, Dude. Can you hear well, me now? I've been dissed. Can you hear Publicly, me? Publicly. Live he on the air. <laughs> can Sorry. He, can he hear me now? <laughs> Can you hear Daddy? Can you hear me, da dude? Yes, he can hear you. Okay, good. <laughs> it's not too loud. We'll see yeah, if the phone yeah, feedbacks yeah. <laughs> or not. Well, you can turn him up if you want to, too. I mean... No, it works fine with oh, okay. it. okay. Just through mine. It's not plugged in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had the wrong Daddy. cable, man. Hey, yep. Daddy. Hi. Yeah. I know you got your microphone. Yeah. So, my name is Peace. And again, it's very nice to meet you. Would you like to take my hand? Yeah, take her hand, man. Yeah, No, he's just not going to do it. Oh, okay. Again, I've been publicly dissed. But that's my problem for putting my hand out there in the first place. Well, if someone else would like to call and talk to Peace and Little Dude, and Big Dude, too, for that matter. Yeah. <laughs> or not. If you just feel like listening to us. Hang out, Which man. is also cool. Hi, Daddy. Right on. Hi, Daddy. What? Because Little Dude was going to interview me, and then we have Jasper Copperpot. Right, Hi, that, which will be on in about Hi, seven, And then did we get some of the septic so. stuff? Hi, yeah, that's at the end of the yeah, tape. Yeah, so we're going to want to narrate that a little bit probably. Right. Hi, and share a little bit of what's going on. La, la, la. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Yeah, man. You're jamming, huh? Guess he's going to be a singer. Ronnie can play lead yeah. guitar. Yeah, leave your mic there. <laughs> <laughs> Smart. What's you don't up? want to be fighting the court. What? What's I said. I said Ronnie can play lead guitar. He can sing. Oh yeah, man. You can play keyboard, and then until they kick you out of the band. Yeah. Hey, man. You Dad. never play the same tunes we're playing. What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> you're just too old, man. You're uncool. You're ruining our hip. Right. Yeah, you're old fuddy duddy. You can't even manage the band, man. <laughs> just Sorry, like, I just kick back and listen to you jam. That's I'm cool with that, man. <laughs> I am totally. Yeah. I'll jam when I jam, right? You know. <laughs> we can't come right now, baby. Remember? No, uh, kind of busy right now, bud. <laughs> We'll have to remind him about the clocks. Right. I'm just going to listen to the music. Right, me too, man. <laughs> oh. Watch the cool scenery. The girl with the weird bug thing on her head. Space technology. Right on, man. <laughs> we'll just be normal, all right? Should we dance, babe? Yeah. Dance? Yeah. Do you need to go pee pee? No. Okay. Yeah. Dance? Yeah. Oh, yeah. With the microphone? Yeah. What about with you? Me? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She wants to see himself dance, I think. Oh, okay. Or maybe I want to see myself. Alright. Or maybe not. So many Friday nights. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm dancing so hot, man. This is my fourth one of these layered drinks. I can't remember the name of. Wow, you're scaring people, man. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> They're going be normal. Yeah, be Look normal. Who's talking? Me. <laughs> oh. Hey, that guy over there is checking us out. He's over there going, yeah, look at those drunk girls. Yeah, <laughs> drunk chicks. Yeah, drunk chicks. Yeah, yeah. Woo. The kids score by the end of the night. We're looking them up. Ready? <laughs> yes, dear. Ready. Ready to dance? Ready? Ready to dance? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you want some music? I don't know. I guess so. I guess we're going to dance. Oh, wait, He's wait. like doing like interpretive. Whoa, whoa. Uh, interpretive modern Look dance. It. Interpretive contemporary. Dad. 
Betty needs to dance too, huh? Jump over the chair. Jump like this. You're gonna be on so you think you can dance in what, 12 years? 13 years? <laughs> What? What? Slide and, what? and jump circles open. Jump yeah. circles open. <laughs> open what? And shake and clap hands. Yeah. And that's all. Ready? 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 Yeah. Okay. You gonna do magic? Oh, hey. <laughs> oh. Hello? <laughs> hey, how you doing? <laughs> You're live. Hello? I can Hi. hear you in your television. Oh, weird. <laughs> Isn't that cool? <laughs> it's like Doppler radar. Woo First thing she says in the night, our B statement is be normal. She's yeah. like, so weird. Yeah. <laughs> wow, well, what is this? Uh, uh, this is Moments of Awareness with Peace and the Dudes. Here, I'll show you. <laughs> wait, wait, that's not us. Wait, that's me. I'm dude. That's dude. That's Peace and peace. Dude Junior. He's Dude Junior. Yeah. Here, wait. Dude. And we come here on Sunday nights and talk to people in the Boise metro area. Yeah. <laughs> and make noise. <laughs> <laughs> and dance a little bit. And yeah. talk to people. If it's requested. Oh, wait. You said that already, right? Yeah. Okay. But, you know. Okay. Wait. Here. She's like, is this real? Oh, my God. <laughs> Am I in the air? There's this echo effect. Is that real? It's so weird. I can hear myself on my TV. <laughs> That's not mind control okay. at We've all. We've heard the conversation before. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> Wait, here, so what's just on to your prove, mind tonight? Prove that you exist right now. It's 720, 2008. She, knows she oh. exists. Oh, okay. She's just wondering what in the heck is going on here. And when's this stuff going to kick in, hey, man? <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> wait, I think it already did. <laughs> what, babe? Be normal. So, what are you doing tonight? Uh, <laughs> are you table? Yeah. Well, Other I was home this. from work. Oh, yeah? Okay. I turned the TV on and. <laughs> <laughs> you found this. Ah! Yeah, exactly. Okey dokey. Well, how did your TV get on this station to begin with? <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I was flipping through channels and <laughs> saw these weird people dancing and decided to call the number. What are you awesome. talking about? I didn't see any weird people dancing. Weird. Yeah, it was some... <laughs> Telling <laughs> me to be normal. What the? What? <laughs> yeah. What we a... get that reaction a lot. Yeah. Yeah, Wait, cool dramatic though. music. We just like to be here on Sunday nights in case anybody thinks of something they want to talk about during the week. Oh, cool. <laughs> and do really cool now, what stuff. What is this? I don't know. Is this uh, out by the by the new? Oh, this is just driving around Boise. Oh yeah, and we show a lot of videos of like oh, stuff sorry. like driving around Boise and our septic <laughs> system being built and like trucks, birds, and <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> What do people usually talk about? Pretty much anything. Like yeah. there's there's Table Rock, but it's kind of blurry. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's my great cinematography. Yeah. Whatever's on your mind. Yep. I'm just kind of whatever. Right on. Okay. I need to go help him out for a minute. Okay. Okay. You can, I'll be right back. You can either watch me <laughs> or cool video. <laughs> but you can still talk if you want. Is that federal way? Uh, f e, uh, yeah, I think it was. It might have been. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, because that's like, I think that's Fred Meyer. Yeah, I can't, yeah. <laughs> what? Oh. Monkeys, monkeys, monkeys. There's someone driving their van. <laughs> hey, hey, what are you filming us for? <laughs> oh, hi, hi. Wait. Oh, P says hi. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, go. Oh, wait. Hi. <laughs> Hi. I'm, I'm, awesome. Here you go. Okay. All right. No, you go with mom, okay? All right. You're stuck with me now. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, we just kind of talk about anything. We're live uh, every Sunday from 11 to 12 p.m. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, if I ever think of anything to talk about. <laughs> cool. Yes, I'll call. That'd be great. <laughs> hey, wait, you just called. <laughs> think of something quick. <laughs> See, I don't, I don't, we don't really like think of topics too often. Unless, yeah. unless we're commenting on whatever I, we shot video wise. <laughs> we have some yeah. old, hey, look at this, some old guy putting crap in his truck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're watching you. 
<laughs> uh, I'm not very good at narrating either. Well, wait, give me a few minutes. <laughs> Pretty dramatic. Oh, look, he's, he's putting the cart back. Will he make it back alive? <laughs> oh, oh, no! <laughs> oh, that's me. Ah! Oh, wait, ah! <laughs> See, it's kind of interactive, too. So you just you just got off work? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I worked the night shift at Micron. Oh, really? That's why we're up this time of night normally. <laughs> mm. My dad got laid off from Micron. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, that's, uh, they just, it, I got, like, I left there and I went back and then uh, they froze everything and then shortly after they were laying off. Oh. Uh. Yeah, we're kind of. You know, not sure on the future. <laughs> you sound way different on the phone and on the TV. Oh, do I? Yeah, I bet. Yeah. yeah, well, the TV should have better, like, audio, actually, a little bit. Hopefully, if our audio is working right. <laughs> we usually have challenges. <laughs> so. I see. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Back to the fantastic cinematography. <laughs> I think, Woo! I think, away! Yay! <clears throat> yeah, we're cruising, uh, cruising into Boise. <laughs> Make it dramatic again here. <laughs> oh, I used to live over there. What? By the Flying J. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh wait, fire truck. Cool. <laughs> we didn't see any fires that day though. That's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. You're still in Boise. Yeah. Oh, I just got hit by flying keys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're back. They're more excited than I am. <laughs> am I? <laughs> well, it's just that he's three, and when they're potty training, you don't say no. Right, right. <laughs> That's Peace's feet. <laughs> oh, yeah, nice. Is that his real hair? Yep. My, That's oh, so his awesome. real hair, yeah. Yeah. It's all the hair he's ever had. Yeah, dreadlocks. Yep. I'm I'm contemplating doing mine again. Me too. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm jealous. He's he's had them for a long time now. Well, he's had them for uh, about a year and three quarters, I guess. Yep. So, according to Arasta, we know he it'll be about a year, two and a half years before they're kind of cool, done. super cool. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, just growing into themselves naturally. Look at that car. Look at that car. Yeah, we're following the car. Boy, we had quite a run outside. Okay. Okay, we're uh, we're following him down uh, Broadway right now. He's turning left. Wait, no, right. Oh, right. Oh no, we. Oh, hey, turn. Stop. Turn around. Oh man. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I digress. <laughs> <laughs> that happened in the Marine Corps too. He he got his right light right. In yeah, I can't even say it. Left right and right, left wrong. Confused. Well, I couldn't hear anything in the Marine Corps. My left ear, I lost hearing in my left ear, so I couldn't hear a lot of the commands. So they had me follow, like, yeah. the squad leaders and guide and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that worked out real well at the final Yeah, we'll show a video of it later. Yeah, whenever we can find it <laughs> yeah. amongst our video collection. Yep. What? Anyway, we still have a yeah, caller on the can't line. can't move it. What? Yeah, you're still there, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking I'm letting you guys go, though. Oh, okay. Right, well, yeah, there's other people, too. We'll talk so to you again we can later. Talk to them. Yeah, if you think yeah. of something. You feel like calling us back? Yeah, yeah I'll call you guys back sometime. <laughs> cool. Great. I will. Talk to you later. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Bye. Yeah, bye. I'm too big. You're too big. Yeah, I can't move it. It's supposed to be right there. He's too big for what? Oh, to get behind the keyboard. Oh. He wants to take control. Take control. He wants to switch the video, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. Okay. The keyboard or the switcher? The switcher. Ah. You have to be very gentle with that, though. Okay. Yep. Yep. Slow. You can go. Slow. Look at See? Down there. See what it does? Oh, another collar. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. You're live. Hello. 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 Hey, what's going on in TV? Yeah. Oh. That. <laughs> <laughs> I just turned the other channels and I saw the lady yeah. she's sitting over here with the cutie pie. Yes. Oh yeah. The girl, she's with the hair. He, I have a curly a, hair like her. That's that's a dude. That's little dude. Yeah. Oh, he's the he's guy. He's our son. Yeah, he's, he's got boy, he's got dreadlocks. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. I thought she's the girl in the shorts. I'm weird. I need to push the buttons. Yeah, he's pushing the buttons right now. See if you yeah. push that one. What's going on in the Boise? I just come from Macau. Oh, no kidding? Yeah, oh, cool. we just go for camping and with the friends over. Oh, fun. Oh. Well, yeah. it's I don't know what's rainbow going on in Boise. No. <laughs> we don't get into town very often. Once oh, or yeah? twice a week. Except for, you know, he comes down to go to work, but... <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. But... What's going on in the Boise? I don't know. I uh, now I see you who is in the yeah. close the computer. Hey. Yeah, I'm con I'm in the control. <laughs> What's Any your name? Dude. Here I'll show you. Oh. <laughs> oh, my son's controlling the controller. Oh. Well, so sorta. what you guys you have uh, some program? <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is our show. Like what kind of show? It's called Moments of Awareness with Peace and the Dudes. Oh, okay. And so uh, talk to people about whatever's on your mind. Yeah. So you'd like to know what's going on in Boise, and I'm thinking maybe someone who spends more time in town might be able to tell us. They might call and say, well, th this is a thing going on in Boise. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, what awareness I about what? Well, Whatever's on your mind. I need to push this. Okay. About m mine, about the Boise? Well, you were wondering what's going on in Boise, and we really can't help you with that because we don't really know. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't. Uh, sorry, it's a misunderstanding. <coughs> oh, okay. I'm saying, what kind of program you guys doing? Oh, well, we just talk to people about whatever you're thinking about or up there, feel like talking about, or yeah, I want to talking about. All right. Um. Uh, is that okay to do that? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. That's just some background footage. <laughs> okay. Um, I have a. A husband um, who's in the jail, and um, we had a bad lawyer, and Public he's defender. in the jail now. And, um, oh, no. Public defender? Uh, no, yeah, public defender, um, you know. Uh -huh. um, we had a, no, not public defender, it's from other side. We ha I had, you know what, we are free refugees. Refugees? Okay. Yeah, before, it's a long time, like eight years ago. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. And then we had uh, two bags of clothes and come here, no language. Wow. No speak language. Yep. Uh, I had a son, like eight years old. Oh, I have frustrated a little bit. You have what? I'm just a little bit frustrated. And then, um, oh, talking we about it? it and we the re refugee camp and we just come here. And then start all over again. Just look at have like an apartment, yeah. Yeah. just one bed, yeah. and you have two two bags of clothes, and nothing, not even language. Yeah, you know? that's got to be tough. Yeah, it is tough. You don't know how to say you need bread. You don't know how to say I'm sick. I need a Tylenol. Right. right. You don't know say hi or bye. Right. We start go English language, and we go all over like. Newborn even have a parents, you know. Yeah. They have a parents take care of your diapers, food, and clothes and house. But yeah. But he doesn't have this stuff. And then well, we start all over again. We have to walk to the store, and uh, uh, and we understand. And then we kind of survive it, and we kind of pass this time. And I, after we pass this time, and. Uh, we had another refugees, and we learned the English language. We start working. We had uh, uh, all this stuff, and after we finished this, um, like uh, kind of little bit, have a car. We have a job now. We have a house. We can settle down. And refugees, other people come, and they want our help. Yeah. And then we start help, and uh, probably she listen. If that be great, if she listen, and we are <laughs> we are on TV. Probably she knows I'm talking about her. And one lady come to my life, and she's uh, three kids, no husband. Wow. And I thought, oh, my God, she, I know what's going on in her life because I'm through this stuff. Right. Yeah. Right. And then we start help her, like, to go to the grocery or emergency room. She had three kids, sick kids, and, or interpreting, or this, or this, and, uh, like, birthdays or presents or, you know, little help, it's help. Yeah. And we just go, and she's always... You're my um, best friend, best friend, and she said my husband died in Afghanistan. Oh. And then it's uh, it's coming. She cried after 
And then uh, she cried, I cried because she said, oh, I saw my husband dead, I have three kids. I said, oh, it's really hard, I have two kids and husband. Still hard for me, for us, how you surviving here. And we kind of become very close friends. And she's uh, start kind of more close to, than me to my husband. Oh. And then kind of different stories start. And she kind of start jealousy. And we get the house and furniture. She said, oh, you guys have new flowers. You have new furniture. I still in the apartment. I still in the old house furniture. And she is kind of jealousy. Woman's jealousy. Now I know it's very bad. Yeah. And then... Um, well, and the, her daughter, like her, my daughter, you know, her, her daughter, we are very close to, she ca- becoming for my husband, like, um, like her sister. Mm-hmm. And then they put the, each other hand, like you guys have a Bible, they put the hand each other mm-hmm. uh, to the Quran that says we are brothers and sisters now. Mm-hmm. It's really, we have to be strong. And I believe that to them. I from Uzbekistan, he from Afghanistan. Mm-hmm. And uh, cultural things, I don't, I'm not very good know their cultural, and I thought it does have to be strong. For me, it's strong, but like if I say it's strong, you believe that, you know? Yeah. And I believe them to, yeah, it's strong. Yeah. And then um, it's coming more jealousy about the house. If you buy for me, and he, she's kind of jealous. If I buy for me clothes, she's kind of jealous. And uh, her daughter and my kids were, of course, it's together all the time. We go to her house, she come to my house, kids, friends, and they're my nieces almost, because it's becoming sister and friend close, so what do you want, you know? Mm-hmm. And um, she had the kind of sick kids, and even she living <laughs> before in Hartman, and I live a little far, almost close to La Queso. She come bring her, like, laundry. I laundry for her and cook for her, they eat it and whatever and then gone and then jealousy come more and she start like well like example like she says your husband call you no not yet or what oh he just called me mm-hmm. you know that kind of it start middle of us some things and I don't like this I right. said well if you sister your friends you have to be on your place you know and then kind of we just uh, and start saying to my husband, he said, you know we put the Quran, he, she's my sister. If she, if I look like woman's eyes, she's uh, fat, black, oily hair, I hate her. But she, I told her, you're my sister. Sister sometimes fat, ugly, different, dirty, doesn't matter. She's my sister, I don't look like woman's eyes, I just look sister's eyes. Mm-hmm. And I believe him, and we just, you know, and I don't like her, what she's doing in the middle of me. And she cooks some couple stupid rice, and she said, oh, your wife, she cannot cook this rice. I can cook, you know, and hand her hmm. this, this rice or something. Well, you know, a lot of different things, and I kind of don't like it, and I cannot say it's kind of embarrassing for me. For, yeah. like, it's a, for us cultural things coming, you know. Yeah. And then it's a... Inside the six months, we had a little bit arguing with my husband, and then, well, and she's a, one, uh, she's a, she had a daughter like ten or eleven years old this time, and then um, she's a friend my son, my son uh, this time like uh, maybe one year apart, probably he's twelve, mm-hmm. and 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 then. Um, uh, They, like if she, one time we go to her house, she said, oh, she actually she called us. She said, come to my house, I'm going to kill my daughter. What's going on? Oh, you come, we are going to talk. And we go to her house. We go almost every week three times. And this time, like, very extreme, you know, like uh, 11 in, or 12 in the night, she called us. And we go, what's going on? She said, she's going out, three black boys. She's going to pregnant tomorrow. What I'm going to do with her? You know that she's very frustrated. She beat her in the belt in the back. She, you can see the lines, and she show you. Look, I beat her. And this and this, and she said, um, "I'm going to kill her." And then she said, "Pick him up, or I'm going to kill her." And I said, "Okay, mom, don't worry. You be calm down. Daughter's crying." I said, "We don't cry. I'm going to pick her up." Okay. 
And she said, you tell her to explain what's going on in the life, you know. She doesn't understand. Maybe she can be pregnant. It's very embarrassed for us and this. And then I pick her up to my home and pick her up. And we come and I said, Huma, it's not good. What are you doing? You know, it's your mom. You're, she's working. Three kids, your older daughter. Come on, you have to help or homework or pick kids. Like you have a sister, brother, help her. And... And she said, I'm hungry. I said, what do you want to eat? It's almost 2 in the morning. And she's showing, ref- I opened the refrigerator. She's showing me ke- chicken. She wants the chicken. The chicken is not ready. And I cook for her. I thought, well, all day she doesn't eat. Mom's not, mom can't beat her. Of course, she's hungry. Okay, I'm going to cook her. And I cook. We, before eat, probably it's like 4, like four o'clock around, you know, 3.30, 4 o'clock, we finish eating. And I said, oh, come on, kids, we have to get up early well come on and go sleep we go sleep like probably eight in the morning i take her home she's happy i said please uh, the, your mom's uh, getting more tired you need help like little clean the potatoes or something for dinner get ready and then um she go home a couple of weeks or i do not remember exactly it's four and a half years ago um a couple of weeks or three weeks Policemen come and take my husband to the jail and come to my house, searching my house, take the whole my story in the house, like computers and ge- like even games, my kids, uh, like uh, all my stuff. And I said, what's going on? And he said, he touched a girl or have sex or something. And then I thought, what's the girl? I thought, well, he's husband, he's a man. I thought maybe he tell me go to work and do something outside, you know? And I kind of believe, and she said, the, she said, do you know Huma? I said, yeah, she's almost my niece, what? She's accusing, I thought, oh man, forget it. She's my niece almost, you know? I thought if you said outside, I believe that. For this, I'm not. And then it's coming and coming. We had the court. And it's four and a half years ago, well, almost one and a half year. Well, he had the 20 days in the jail. I b- bailed out. We almost fight like over one year. And then um, they sent him like a lie detector test. And then they, he passed everything. And they sent him um, like Dr. Christian, so maybe he's sick or something. It's clean. Computer, it's clean. And then everything she's my niece and they come out cassette well some like uh, one cassette it's a pornography sorry <laughs> yeah, probably every we are adult we have it and she cared she play in the, my computer she play everywhere she knows everything and then it's come out she, she said oh he's uh, showing me this and sh- uh, he touched me where he touched you and treat uh, inside the four days, almost three days, she talked to the judge, you know, and she said, one time she said, he touched my shoulder. Next time she said, he rubbed my stomach. Next time she said, he touched my back. She doesn't even remember where he, she, he touched, not with sleeping or something, forget this stuff. Just, I, I hope she's saying he had something with me so the doctors can check it. It's nothing in there, you know, and then it's, no, it's, uh, she just accusing he touched you. And then, after one year, one and a half year, he's three years in the fighting, and he's in the jail. He's in Ari- Boise, one and a half. He's almost one and a half in Arizona. Hmm. And I don't know who can help me. And we had a kind of free lawyers, and first time with the money, he doesn't care either. He said, oh, I'm sorry, if you find a good lawyer, I should open this, I should open this. If you find a good lawyer, I can tell, yeah, point me. It's okay, I know I'm lost. I can say I did this and wrong, I did this and wrong. I said, no, sorry, I, it, it's, a, it's not helping. It's not helping. I, I cannot afford another lawyer either. I have two kids, big house. I don't know this time. If I know this time he be in the, uh, in the court or like a jail time i don't get this house because of this stupid woman and she said you know what i'm going to take him in the jail he be in the jail he lose his family he and the she she lose her house everything and she be in the apartment and then i will of course i cried 
in the two years ago in June when he, they take him to the court. I don't work this time. I just a little bit, couple hours, maybe every week or two, one day, and interpreting, that's it. And then this time, like one month, I cry, my kid's not eating, I don't eating, I kind of sick. And look, I, look, my kid's going sick. I thought, no, I have to be stronger. And I start apply to Micron, where my husband works. Their bosses know he's not sex offender or he's not bad guy. He's the boss takes me to the work. I'm three years working in a Micron. And then um, interpreting, I work another job. I work three jobs to afford my house, to not lose and afford food in the table. You know, a couple times I almost had a hate from the, cr like a big truck in the freeway and then stopped my second job because I thought, if they don't have a house, they don't have a money, but they have a mom. You know, a couple times I sleep in the steering and I cannot, because I come, like uh, six to six I work in the Micron. Six to six I work in the Micron. And uh, 6.15 I have to run another job and I work like 11, 11.15. And I come before I come home from downtown to my house like at 12 o'clock, and I had a baby like almost three years old this time. He doesn't sleep, sleep. he just loses his father. He just, almost mom because he doesn't see me anymore. I'm always in the working. Yeah. Then it's kind of frustrating. Before I change his diapers, give him food a little bit, or take shower, or it's two in the morning, and four o'clock I have to get up and go back to work. Like two hours, three hours sleeping, that's it every day and then after a couple of incidents almost i did and i just stop it i just uh, and the, still he's in the jail now he has a big moment he has a july 31st kind of court mm -hmm. and it's coming like a deportation maybe i hope that someone who hears what you've told us um some advice or some and then she's the one her. and I just want to say why the people not seeing she's the one say her husband died and we cry everybody and then um, we cry and his her husband come out from the Germany she lied to America and come to America her husband come out from Germany and she's the one she had the food stamp and she's selling everybody almost all, all of them knows and she's the one who sent it to her husband 11,000 and nobody believed to us because her husband come here and then uh, I said, he's die people, he's here. And then nobody believed me, but he has, we have a picture because we have invite my house and everybody knows, all Afghan culture, everybody knows mm -hmm. he's here. We invite, he's almost over a month, he's here. Mm -hmm. And then he's coming from Germany, no money, and he go back to Germany with 11,000 where mm -hmm. she's make here, lie everybody, pick up, sell the food stand, sell this, and like taxes and everything, sell. But why? He looking and close eyes for this, and for the, because he touched this and touched this, we have to just uh, kind of, it's hard, it's everything on my shoulder. It's impossible to say what the reason is behind an awful lot of things right now. There has to be one, but it's very hard to say what it might be. What was that? No, no, I'm telling my son. Oh. He's upstairs. He doesn't see this. Oh. <laughs> Yours talk, is very good, by the way. I just wanted to say. You said you've been here two, how long? Uh, almost eight years. Eight like, years? Uh, yeah, couple, ca last year I started, uh, before last year I uh, applied my citizenship, I thought, Maybe my, my brain's not start working because I have very frustration and keep my house, my first, and I uh, have kids um, working and uh, keep together. And my son, he's kind of little bit okay. Mm -hmm. And then he's mm -hmm. in the medical school. He wants to be brain surgeon. Wow. He's, wow, uh, he's awesome. 14. He started this medical charter school. No wow. kidding. Yeah, he kind of, they say the medical charter school is going like a, Ninth grade and BCU program together. Mm -hmm. Before he finished charter school, he be all, uh, all already nurse and uh, like 25 person or 25 credits already. Wow! That's great. So That's awesome. we 
we tried the best. Yeah. I know she's in the Boise. She go to Germany six months, go to her husband, and he had another wife or something. So she's come hmm. back to Boise again. I hate her to see her, but it's a law. I cannot. But she did a lot of broken down to family. Mm -hmm. Very, very bad for what? Can I say something about your mom? Like, it's very, but very they bad. almost broke my family, you know? They almost broke my family. They, we are struggling because I cannot keep up like that it, every time. Four, four in the morning, run to work, and sometimes right. yeah. I cannot. I have to skip the bills because I cannot pay it. Yeah. I don't know how long. And ah, one ex like this is, he has to be, be 11 months in the jail. He has to be come back. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't come back because he's the first parole in December. The before the December, he has to say, I'm guilty, I'm sorry, I didn't do again. And then he doesn't say it because he doesn't say it. And they says, oh, you sick. And you don't mm -hmm. want to be good. And he doesn't want to give you class and forget it. Yeah, so it's catch 22 no matter what, it seems. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like the whole if you if you float thing, mm. the witch hunt thing. <laughs> it's really I don't it, it's I don't know. It's all out of control. It's all. So, do you think somebody can help us, like a lawyer side or somebody even explain to us what's going on or when he's coming back? He's 11 months supposed to be. It's over three years. Yeah, we we. Uh, we probably don't have any resources for that, right, but, but somebody might be watching. able to call in and tell you something that we, I don't really, I don't. But we can look and see, look into it and see if we come up with anything and, uh, you know, mention it on yeah. the show next week. If we do come up with anything that might be of help, we'll definitely see what we can come up with. Or somebody else might have something else. Yeah, something to and they can to, well, you know. contact us through the website. And, or they could call the show. Know. Right. <laughs> Call the show. Um, yeah, hopefully. And, uh, someone, we'll someone might do. be able to. Someone might have information. They mm -hmm. might call in and be able to tell you who you could contact. Yeah, Liz, I want to know what, where is stop. I don't see the stop. Like he has a in the no, uh, November he has to have another court, and they says no, we just going to change it, and they change for the March. There we go. This is it's the last one. 13 March. I almost. I had like uh, almost three thousand dollars in my shoulder still. I have mm -hmm. to pay him off. Where my ticket, my hotels, my cars, everything. Mm -hmm. Then I go and visit. The judge talked to me, talked to my son. They said, you want him or you do this? I said, what do you think? I said, well, I'm thinking he's my good husband and good father. I said, if he's be outside, do something. I said, e yeah, maybe. But she said, she come to my house and he touched in my house. He's not that bad or lost or very down man. Touch somebody in my house, kids and me, everybody sleeping. Across the room, she's sleeping and he's wrong for two hours sleeping, wrong to touch her shoulder, rub her stomach or something and she's accusing. And he doesn't, ta he doesn't take her in the hotel. He doesn't take her in the apartment somewhere. Nobody's in there. Me, my kids, everybody's home. I cannot understand this. Why the everybody blind? Right. Yeah. Talk, Daddy, please. It's almost impossible to say. No. Yeah. Well, there are so many potential reasons, but none of them are good. Hopefully, we can come up with an answer, or someone can call us and let us know, and uh, we'll see what we can come up with. All right. I want to want to thank I you for calling the show yeah. tonight. Do you want my phone number? Uh, we can't take it while we're live like this. Uh, yeah. uh, but How uh, I can give you my phone number if somebody... Do you, uh, do like you have uh, internet access at all anymore? Or, yeah. Uh, what you want to try and do is get a, get a hold of us through our email, uh, through our website, and let us know that you called the show. And Wh Where is your website? Here, I'll get it up for you. Can you... <laughs> can you okay. Yeah, hold on. Give me a second. Oh. There we go. All right. One second, my son's writing now. Yeah, I'll leave it up there for you for a little while. Yeah, please. And uh, we're gonna. Please, if you have something come up, please let me know because I'm looking for another job now because I cannot afford now. It's kind of skipping my bills and school time coming season. Certainly. I have to. I have to find a job. I hope he's coming out this time. If he cannot, well, I have to get another job to 
afford like clothes and everything. School's almost here, and uh, yeah. like after months, I have to get ready for clothes, everything. So well, ho hopefully, we'll, we'll someone will be able to help us out, or we'll be able to help you out and find out some answers for you. Thanks so much for calling. Thank you very much. All right, you have well, a great night. And hang Thank in there. You. Thank you. Yep, we'll okay. be back next Sunday. Thank you. What time? Let's 11, time. To, 11 to midnight. Yep, every Sunday. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank okay. you. Life is inexplicable sometimes. <laughs> this is Jasper Copperpot. He was performing outside the co-op last week. Some of you may have seen him. Jasper Copperpot. after a oh, performance in Idaho Falls. Yeah, I know you're fine, babe. Popcorns. Popcorns. That's, that's yes, popcorns. life is inexplicable, isn't it? Ah. Are you going to fast forward to the... All right. There you go. Now you can hear me. <laughs> Thank you. So can the rest of Boise. Awesome. <laughs> there we are in Boise. 
up again and looking like it hasn't even been disturbed almost. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. It helps that we never had any lawn in there. Doesn't really get enough sun for grass over there. Well, mine now because they had to open it up a lot, but it's nice. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Last one. Volkswagens, man. Yeah. As big as uh, his MG. <laughs> yeah. I tend to like close it up just before he does a beautiful three-point turn, or. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, you know, and then that, that camera takes forever to boot, so. Right, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I miss all the really good stuff, but... Can you see it? Him? 
<laughs> get in the bag, get in the bag. <laughs> You're a keyboard. <laughs> and we're out. <laughs> Your little bee.